guys, welcome. I don't have my countdown video on this computer. I like briefly looked for it, but then uh, gave up because my file management was not good in this machine. So I'm just not gonna do anything terribly important for four or five minutes or so until Twitch sends out notifications and people make it over here. But in any case, welcome, happy Friday. Uh, Red Panda Lovelies, thanks for the sub. Mr. Angel Set, hello Hazel. Such IT Taylor, how you doing? Also excellent idea. I was thinking I might end up making some tea because today we're making a cheesecake and we're actually gonna be making, assuming that like nothing goes horribly wrong, we're gonna be making an instant pot cheesecake. And the lovely thing about doing that, I guess it's really not any more, it's not very different from making one in an oven, but regardless, it's not actually a very long process. This could theoretically be a fairly short stream because the cake's gonna have to bake for a while or pressure cook as it were. And that's fine. We can probably have the stream for the whole duration of that, but then the cake has to like cool and set for, I mean, we're probably not gonna cut it until tomorrow. So I won't be extending the stream that long, which means that I might be coming up with something else to do. Um, or I may, depending on how I'm feeling and a little early, I am getting sick which is why it's good that I, I mean, it's, it means I get to eat all the cheesecake. <laughs> Cause like if anybody's like, man, nice cheesecake. Can I have some? I'll be like, okay, but I was in the early incubation stages of a cold virus. <laughs> Still want some? <laughs> well, at least without lying. Making stream cheesecake. Hi Hazel, happy Friday. Hey chat, what's up? So we're also gonna be doing a little bit of improv because I already found a cheesecake recipe that I really liked for the Instant Pot, and I made that one before, and it was just for a regular, plain, New York-style cheesecake, whatever that means. As far as I know, that just means a normal one. And I was looking around because I wanted to make a lemon cheesecake because it's for a birthday, so I wanted it to be extra special. And, uh, I, you know, there were lemon cheesecake recipes, but I wanted to use the same base recipe that I'd used for the Instant Pot one. So I figure I'm just gonna make it and I'm just gonna mix in the juice and zest, roughly, of a lemon or two, maybe some food coloring, I don't know, it's my cake. And then also, I wanna like stir in some sprinkles. I went and Googled and found at least a few people who had that idea and it turned out cute when they did it. So I'm gonna try and then I'll find out if it's any good. <laughs> Is today your birthday? No, um, my birthday's on Sunday, so day after tomorrow, I will be streaming. I'm gonna do a normal WoW stream in the morning. Hey Hazel, love your apron. What's up? Thank you. This is my this is my Alliance apron. I have a special spot for them in. Hang on, it's off center, and I'm trying to figure out how to fix it. Nope, that way. Yep, I have a special spot for them in uh, my drawer place where I keep the clothes with the drawers and the clothes. I have a little box for them, and uh, and I, I figured out how to fold it because that's a really fun puzzle is figuring out how to fold everything. I have lots of fun on the weekends. The audio cranked up all the way? Oh, is it really quiet? I don't think I can, it looks like it's, if I crank it up more, it's gonna be peaking. Mm -hmm. Happy early birthday, happy Friday. Hey chat, hope everyone's having a great day. What's up, Caitlin? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. So I remembered, you might have noticed by like the weird scattered stuff on my counter over that way. I did remember to take out the cream cheese and the eggs ahead of time because those needed to be room temperature. So I actually thought of that like this morning. That's the nice thing about doing it on a bacon stream is I already knew I was on a bacon stream. I already knew it was happening today. So I figured I could, you know, I'm totally doing that because sometimes I'm, I'm like hesitant to take out the butter or the whatever that needs to come out of the fridge early, early because that's a big commitment for later. Just because I want to make cookies now doesn't mean that I'm going to like, I have in the past taken out the butter and then like, you know, three or four hours rolls by and then I like go, no, <laughs> never mind. And that's a bad day. So I'm like, without the stream to like hold me accountable to the baking, sometimes I don't want to do it. Folding is fun. Folding is fun. Serious about this cheesecake? Well, I'm, I'm serious. We'll see how prepared I am. I am prepared with a plan that is not very not sure if that sounds amazing or terrible. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. I'm just adding lemon 
and people put all kinds of weird stuff into their cheesecake and I feel like they don't really mess with the amounts that much. It's not like I'm trying to measure ratios of like a flour to a raising agent. It's just got to hold together. So as long as I don't put in so much lemon juice, well, no, well, mm, I don't know. We're going to do it. And if it like curdles or does something weird, then that'll be a fun story. And I'll just like buy a cake for my birthday. <laughs> Sounds yummy, right? I just wanted it to be a little bit, a little bit special. And I couldn't decide between the cheesecake or the lemon thing and the sprinkles thing. It had to be cheesecake because it's superior to regular cake. So I'm going to get started. Uh, I'm going to move the stool, although I might bring it back. It feels like a day to do a bunch of sitting. <laughs> It feels like a day that I don't need to stand up all day long. So I saved my recipe, or at least I had it open in a browser tab. Um, I'm going to be making it in the Instant Pot, so I can show you guys how I do that. If anybody was curious, you can, in fact, pressure cook a cheesecake, and it does, in fact, turn out to be adorable. So I have a little 7-inch springform pan. And I think that's the first thing we're going to do is prepare the pan. So I'm going to make my crust mixture and put it into the pan. I'm doing a regular graham cracker crust. I considered like the Oreo cookie deal, but I figured that wouldn't be good with lemon. It might be okay with lemon. It might be gross. I wanted to stay. I know graham crackers and lemon. That sounds nice. That's an instant pot on the counter. Yep, yeah, that is an instant pot, which if anybody hasn't heard of one, they don't sponsor me. Um, they're welcome to. That would be a weird partnership. Yeah, no, they don't sponsor me, but it's basically just a consumer grade uh, strongly word of mouth advertised pressure cooker. They're very popular around here. Um, it feels like everybody has them and is very excited about cooking things in them. And, uh, and they, they won me over despite my, be my best intentions. So that's what I'm going to be using. And yeah, I'm going to make the crust first. So I need my springform pan. I have a little seven inch guy that I keep down here. And this is really nice because it's like the right amount of cheesecake. It makes like a nice little one. Because when I make a giant cheesecake, it's just too much cheesecake. And I know that's a good problem to have. But there's only two of us, and maybe I don't want to share. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, sounds weird with lemon. Definitely go with graham cracker. Mm. It's a cult. It is a cult. But so far, they haven't really made me do anything aside from cook food for myself to eat. So that's okay. So I'm going to clamp the thingy together. I do have... I did get out again... Uh, counter camera for all the good it's going to do because we're just mixing. <laughs> Cheesecake is very easy. That's like one of the great secrets of the universe. Some things are hard. Pie is hard. If I like put this in the Instant Pot and I go, man, I want a challenge, then we'll just like try and make some pie. But um, cheesecake is not hard. It seems like it should be hard because it's very delicious. But it's more expensive than anything else if you live in a place where cream cheese is expensive. And here in America... I say as I struggle with my springform pan. Uh, cream cheese is fairly affordable. It's like just a normal thing you buy in the store that does not cost you like fifteen dollars. So I'm not I'm not mad about it. Love your vid. What's up, Patrick? Hi, how you doing? Uh, any cheesecake is a personal <laughs> cheesecake if you try hard and believe in yourself. Mm. Whenever I have like a dessert. I always enjoy it, but I'm also weighing the amount I'm having of it against the other different desserts I could also be eating. Because, like, I feel like I just want to sample everything without feeling like I don't want to live anymore by the time I go to bed. So I just want lots of things, but, like, little bits of them so I can, so it all makes sense. I'm doing, I must be doing this upside down, huh? <laughs> Yo, Patrick, thanks for this sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Happy September. Subs 50% off. True, yeah. I should advertise that, huh? 50% off subs, and they're paying streamers just as much for it, which is pretty sweet. It's pretty tight, if you ask me. I just wanted to not go poof. Uh, I don't know why I'm struggling with this so much. I'm having a bit of a dumb day. Not a dumb day. I'm having a weird day. Uh, you ever have one of those days where you feel like you're just a little bit possessed, and you're just moving around with a lot of clarity, like you're not distracted at all? But you also don't really feel like you're driving the ship. <laughs> like I was, I was working on stuff today and I got everything done that I wanted to. But it just kind of felt like somebody else had taken executive control over my brain and directed it to do things. I wish that they would take executive control over my... It's definitely this way because I can see the ridge that it's going to sit on. <sighs> doing my mount runs. Wish me luck. Good luck on your mount runs. Uh, is this from the WoW cookbook? No, this is from the internet, and then I'm messing with it more. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's just a recipe that I Googled. 
So I'm going to try doing this in a flat surface. I think that's how I must have done it the other time. I just want to be able to push in the bottom and have it not escape. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're good. Okay. So I am going to need to check my ingredients list. I know I need graham cracker crumbs. I didn't buy a new box because I made the last one fairly recently and I didn't use very much of them. So I feel like I should have enough there. It says it makes three nine inch pie crusts and I've only made one seven inch pie crust. So the math checks out. Should be fine. Dislike springform pans, they're a pain sometimes. I think I just had it upside down for the first seven attempts. <laughs> I don't know if I can blame that of the pan. Okay. I need to mix one cup of the crumbs and two tablespoons of melted butter, and that's it. They're not even calling for like salt or sugar. Um, but I remember the crust was good last time, so I'm just gonna do it just like that. Two tablespoons of butter and one cup of graham cracker crumbs. So I'm gonna get a small bowl. Oh, I have a small bowl. Look at that. It smells like a bowl. I need two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna melt the butter in the bowl. Um, and I'm just going to slice it off of here. I'm going to go a little over because um, whenever I make these, I always find I don't have quite enough butter to bind the whole thing together. And you know, that's intended. You're supposed to like press it into the bottom. But uh, I always do just a tiny bit extra just to help. Because <laughs> otherwise, I, you know, I've made cheesecakes before where I like, you cut it and then you pull it out of the pan and the crust never crusted together. It just falls apart. So I don't want to have that happen. So let's melt the butter carefully. I will try not to cause any fires or explosions or, um, you know, unintended dismemberment. Let's see. Butter is just, I mean, it's not likely to explode. It's just likely to get my microwave kind of messy. Oh, you know what I should do is I should do it for a minute, but only on like 20% power. And that way it'll do that for me. I don't know why I didn't think of it. Uh, hi Hazel and chat. Do we have an egg cam yet now? Yeah. Yeah. Look at, look at this, uh, high res, high res eggs. <laughs> Macro egg footage right there. Those are some room temperature eggs. Okay. Uh, the rest of the butter can go away. Should I do chai tea? I don't know. I'm, my chai tea is a black tea. Uh, in many cultures, the word chai literally means tea. So they think that in North America, we're really goofy for calling it tea tea. Um, but anyways, the chai blend that I have is, uh, no, that's not it. Although I forgot I had that one. I should make that sometime. Uh, yeah. So it's uh, black tea with a bunch of spices. And that means it might be not the right time of day. I haven't been sleeping well for a few nights. I think I'm getting, I think it's because I'm getting sick, but it might be the right time for this. <laughs> what? On the, on the bag of tea, underneath the barcode, it's like, to reorder, tweet at their Twitter handle, and then a number. Does that, I mean, I'm not going to find out if that works, but that's bizarre. <laughs> what a weird public way to shop. Okay, that worked pretty good. I'm going to do it again. So let's do another, like, 45 seconds this time, continuing on 20% power. Microwaves are fun because they don't actually have lower power settings. All they can do is toggle on or off. So if you put it on a lower power setting, it's just going to go on and then off depending on, with the ratio depending on what you set it to, which is really great when you're doing, um, I use that a lot when I'm doing oats in the morning. I made some oats for breakfast this morning because I just didn't want to eat anything and I couldn't think of anything I wanted. And, um, and then I was like, oh, I have blueberries in my freezer. I could just make some oats and blueberries. So I did that. And you can just throw them in for like five minutes, but like half power, and then they get done because if you put them on full power, they, they blurble over. And then you've got blurbled oats all over your microwave and nobody wants that. Okay. Hey, how are we doing? That is some melted butter. I'm gonna grab one cup of graham cracker crumbs. Yeah, close enough. Don't mind the the doodle. I mean, we can, we can, there we go. That's better. <laughs> I suppose we could mine the doodle. Uh, classic looks wild. Hazel's brandishing knives at us. Interesting microwave fact. Yep. That's what everybody's here for. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I just, I went through, it's interesting to me because I went through a very long period of my life only ever using my microwave on hundred percent power. I didn't really understand 
why on earth I would ever turn it down. So it's fun to both discover how it works and then realize that there are applications where that's a handy thing to do. So we're gonna go for about a cup of these. I'm just gonna pour it in because I am a wild thing. And uh, you know, leveling measures, whatever. And spoon. I don't remember if I was supposed to butter this. I'm gonna look in the recipe. I followed this exactly like to the letter last time and it worked out really good. Uh, prepare it by coating it with a non-stick spray lined with parchment paper if desired. Ooh, I didn't do that, but maybe I should. Because then I might get like a really clean edge on it. Cause you could peel off the paper. Although what if it sticks to the paper? I'm just gonna spray it because I think that's what I did last time. I have a coconut oil spray. Let me mix these together first. Yeah, pre-crumbled graham crackers. They come like that. Um, I know you can also buy graham crackers and crumble them. They're every cheesecake recipe that I saw on the internet seem to have a section with everybody's like favorite advice and some people were like pulse them in your food processor and some people are like put them in a ziploc and beat them up with a rolling pin and some people were like wrap them in plastic wrap and drive over them with your car and i was and i was like well they just come like this in a box if you buy them in a box i mean maybe it's more expensive i don't know but it can't be that much more expensive <laughs> and then you know it's not a big step but it's a step that i don't have to do <laughs> i don't feel too bad about not crumbling them myself it smells good. I just have a hammer, <laughs> they become crumps. <laughs> you don't even have to hit them, you just own the hammer. You show them the hammer and they understand that you have the hammer. And they're like, Flip. just done. Uh, doesn't stick? Yeah, it's a non-stick pan, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm still gonna hit it with a coconut spray, just because I've never really ruined anything by being overcautious with the sticking, but I've definitely ruined things by being undercautious, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna slap some some of this some of this stuff in here. Besides, if it gets a little coconutty, it's fine. But I find that even though this is literally coconut oil and it kind of smells like coconut, it doesn't actually impart that to the food really because I cook an egg in this every morning, and you'd think that's weird. It's a coconut egg, but it's actually fine. Um, it doesn't taste any different than if I did it in like butter. Okay, put this away. What is a microwave? <laughs> Nothing sticks to parchment paper. I bet, I mean, that sounds like a challenge. I bet something would. Afternoon Hazel, how's the cheesecake coming? So we'll figure it. Um, my cheesecake currently consists of a bowl of stuff that's gonna be the crust, which is just the crumbs and then the butter. And then I have some cream cheese and eggs on my counter and that's it. Haven't put it together yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so this bad boy goes up here in that basket. And why is this so far out? That's fine. How did I do this last time? I just put it all in there. I think I just put it all in there and then I pressed it into the sides, I think is what I ended up doing. So I'm just gonna like scoop it. <laughs> this may not be a agreed upon method, but it's what's happening. And then, oh, I can shake it. Fun, okay. And then uh, I'm gonna wash my hands again. I think I already washed them, but. I don't remember, just in case. Wash my hands again and then go in with my fingertips and like press them into the bottom. Scale and cooking increased to 400. Mm. Uh, I was so excited about leveling cooking on Classic and I still am, but now that I've gotten up past the, past the journeyman stage, if I want to train my cooking any higher, they want like a lot of gold. I'm like staring at the dude like, I don't know. Can't you just whisper it to me? Do I have to pay you? It's so expensive. Okay, fingertip time. You can pat, 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 pat. It's like I'm seeing if anybody's home, but there's not because they left because I'm gonna eat them. A little firmer. You want it to actually hold together, so I feel like I do need to use a little bit of pressure. Love that aspect of classic where everyone is super poor again. <laughs> you spent 50 silver on a weapon, people go, You spent 50 silver on a weapon? Dang. I just made it to my first gold like yesterday, and then I got my second gold like the same day because I discovered an area where the bears were dropping bear carcasses. And they were like, one silver 38, I think. I think it was a silver 38 copper per bear carcass. So I just found a bunch of bears. <laughs> 
and just like mass uh, farm them so that I could sell their sell their bodies. That was pretty good. Okay, that should do. That should do. We've got like a crust packed in there. And uh, next step, I think we're gonna be mixing up the filling. Now, I know that I'm not supposed to over mix this. We'll see if that actually happens. We're gonna be mixing together cream cheese, sugar. Oh no, I need to prepare my lemons because this isn't part of the recipe. I'm just gonna kind of yolo lemon a little bit. Um, so I have, let's see. Can confirm this is a lemon. Darbell spooked my dog. I personally did not spend 50 silver, but if you did, it would be impressive. Mm -hmm. You guys getting your mounts yet? Any of you guys level 40 and you getting your mounts rolling? <laughs> I don't think I'm ever, I, I mean, I might get there one day, but it's going to be a while. I, uh, I'm level 17 on my warlock, and then I think my hunter's 13. And I keep going back and forth between them. Like, I keep changing my mind about which one I want to put more time into. But then also, I, um... <laughs> I don't want one of them to get too far ahead of the other one because if I level my warlock up to like 30 and I start just like killing a humanoid mob and getting a whole silver all at once, then I'm going to get back on my hunter and I'm not going to feel as good about the farming. So I'm trying to keep them even, which is very slow. It's a very slow way to play. Everything's taking twice as long. So I'm going to zest this and, by, and typically <laughs> you zest a lemon with like either a lemon zester or a very fine grater. And what I have is I have a box grater, but it's kind of hard to scrape this stuff out from the middle of it. Maybe I will just kind of like smush it on this a little bit. I guess I have a fine grater on this side, but usually, like my only other grater is uh, it's a real coarse one, which is not exactly ideal for lemon zesting. I have done it before. I don't really mind chunky zest, um, but chunky zest is what you're getting with those bad boys. So I'm gonna, I guess try. I don't really know what motion you're supposed to do with like the side that's got like the little kissy grate, the kissy grates. They're just kind of going. Mm. Um, I don't know what motion I'm supposed to do with this. Level 40, but I still need 17 gold. Mm. Those lemon trees must be coming on seriously well if you're already getting lemons from them. <sighs> I don't know if they're ever going to give me lemons. What if they just give me weird goosey lemons? Okay, so, and then I'm just going to juice some amount. I'm going to put into a little dish. If I get more than like a couple of tablespoons, I'll probably stop. But I, I think it would be, I don't know, nice if it was all from one lemon, like all of the zest I could get from one lemon and all of the juice I could get from one lemon. So I'm just going to uh, scooch and scooch and uh, I don't know. Give it a nice little massage. I think this is probably a better tool. As long as I can get it off the inside, I think this is probably a better tool than um, <laughs> the coarse grater. <laughs> uh, warlock first mount, very cheap. Yeah, for warlocks, I'm not gonna have to pay much because I can just train it off of my trainer. And then at 60, you get a mount from a class quest. And as I understand it, it's a very long and involved class quest, but it is still from a quest. So you don't have to pay for it. But my hunter is definitely going to have to buy it, buy one. And also, I feel like, you know, everybody's complaining about how broke they are and how they're never going to be able to afford a mount. And I want to complain about how broke I am and how I can't afford a mount. I want to struggle to buy my first one. I feel like I'll, I'll enjoy um, a mount more on my hunter because I'll have actually suffered to, like, save up to buy it. So that's part of the reason why I kind of want to play that character. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but that is how I feel. So the problem now, though, is that I have a bunch of zest, I guess, but I don't know how on earth I'm ever going to get it off this thing. At least with a grater, it's on like a flat edge you can scrape. It's like not really showing up on the inside of this thing. Gordon Ramsay, is that you? A little scrubbing action? Hunter is 19, the mage is only 9. Being a red paladin classic is painful in many ways, but sure I'm looking forward to that now. You got me so addicted to classic that I spent the last three nights playing with some cool people until 4 a.m. I mean, that just sounds like a great, great time. You're making memories. Materials you have to buy? Uh, okay. Uh, buy some things for the 60 mount. 600 gold. Mm. Well, yeah, that's not that cheap then. Put a butter knife in there, a chopstick. They're, they're, um, I'm, like, I'm going to scrape it out with a knife if I can, but if I can show you... The inside of it, it's like starting to come through a little bit, 
but largely it's sort of in the grading mechanism. This is never gonna understand how deep in the grader I wanted to focus. You can kind of get the idea. It's not really protruding much, but maybe I just need to g g go a little further. So I'm just gonna like scrub for a minute. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not in a particular hurry. Maybe, oh man, today, maybe today is a day where we, we just make the cheesecake and uh, maybe some tea, maybe some nice relaxing green tea <laughs> and call it a day. Okay. At least this does appear to be getting the correct amount of zest off. You can kind of tell because the shiny part of the lemon's gone, but I haven't like gouged into the, what do they call it, the pith? I don't know. I'm not a lemon anatomist. That's my next job. <laughs> That's after YouTube doesn't work out. Uh, um, yeah. I think I've tortured this poor thing enough. So, yeah, there's something in there. There's something in there. I'm just gonna combine the zest and the the zest and the other and the juice. That's fine. So a little bit from there. I feel like I want to peel it out of there with a toothpick, like out of the ow, out of the divots between the. Um, uh, There's probably a much easier way to do this, but there's like a rib, a rim on the bottom of the inside of this thing that I don't want to get it all stuck up against. And yeah, it's pretty good. I do want to get in there with a toothpick. Though. You know, I have toothpicks. I know exactly where they are. I'm somebody that knows precisely where I keep my toothpicks. Uh, Lady Erin, thank you very much for the sub or for the two months. Appreciate it. Got the cooking stream for my two months. Very nice. We're, oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Let me see if I can give you a good shot of that. Hmm, how do I, hmm, hmm. I think that'll be a better angle. So like, it's all up in there, right? So, uh, I just wanna like rescue some of it. So we can kind of journey through our divots and pull out just a little toothpick head full of this lovely, I mean, it smells amazing. It smells really good. Mm. Although this might take me a while. This is one of those jobs that you start and then you go, oh no, I shouldn't have started because now I'm having fun, but I need a better system. I need a better methodology. Let's do diagonals. Let's go up. And then this way. Uh, it's more of a, that's more of a slalom method. That's not going to do. Um, I don't think this is how I'm supposed to be spending my day. When I woke up this morning, this wasn't really what I had in mind. I didn't have much in mind. Like I said, I've just been kind of zombieing around, uh, just kind of living life. <laughs> I saw some hummingbirds. They've been, I haven't caught too many of them, but they've been really slamming that hummingbird feeder. They've been just like emptying it every second day. I'm gonna make them lazy. <laughs> All right, whatever. Uh, so this is my haul, uh, lemon zest haul. So now I'm just gonna um, do more mean things to the poor lemon and we'll be, we'll be on our way. Oh man. Isn't there a cooking category on Twitch? Yeah, there was, yeah, there was. And I used it last time and then everybody made fun of me for being in the cooking channel because apparently everybody does it over here. So, you know, I am also chatting. <laughs> it's probably fine. And do this in like quarters, maybe even eighths. You can sit over there. This knife is not very sharp. <laughs> it's getting shorter. It's getting shorter as a knife because I have not, I've been sharpening it, which helps very briefly because it's not a very good knife. So it doesn't hold the edge for super long. And then um, it, uh, 
also my sharpener sucks. <laughs> not very good. I don't want too many lemon seeds. I'm not going to plant these. I don't think there's any much of a chance of them coming out with anything good. Okay, so this might be a lot of lemon juice, actually. Although, there's not going to be a lot of lemon color, so I feel like if I want the cheesecake to really be yellow, to indicate its lemoniness, which I think is important, you know, there's been, like, interesting examples where if the food doesn't look the way you expect, but it tastes the way you think, or no, if, you're, if, you're, if the visuals of the food mislead your expectations about it, you won't get the flavors that it actually has, you know? Um... So if I want to, if I want the lemon flavor to really come through, maybe I should dye it yellow. I kind of want to. It sounds kind of fun. And this is the part where you find out exactly where you've made all of the tiny scratches on your fingers. I definitely have one. It, uh, it's getting, uh, attention. Knife block with sharpeners built in, so they sharpen any time I take them out of that, out of or slide them back in. Luxury. Oh, that's nice. Now we're a baking haul video. This is Comfy, long time viewer. Hazel, sup, marble cake? How you doing? Yellow, but not too yellow. Yeah, I'm thinking like a nice pastel yellow. I don't want it to be just like. Ow. <laughs> it's. My finger's so angry. How on earth did I cut the back of my knuckle on my ring finger of my right hand? How does that happen? Maybe when I was unboxing the camera, there was like a lot of sharp cardboard and I don't really know where my fingers are going <laughs> when I do anything. They just kind of end up wherever, wherever the world, the wind takes them. So maybe I was just like clawing my way into a package and got me. I'm going to invent combustible lemons. Ow, ow, ooh. Uh, like when you expected you'd drink your Dr. Pepper instead of Diet Coke? Exactly. Got locked out of my house? Oh dear. Uh, when I think of the lemon taste, I associate it with a pale lemon color. Makes my mouth water? Mm. Uh, that was a huge description of where the cut was. It was at the very forefront of my consciousness. Okay, so we have, uh, juice combined with zest here. I'm gonna mix that in with my cheesecake mixture once we get going with that. And also, what's my situation with the food coloring? I keep it over here. I guess I, in order to color it yellow, I'd actually have to have yellow, and I don't think I do. Uh, I have pink, blue, green, and purple. So I could make it green and see if I can fool people into thinking it's a lime cheesecake, but I don't think I can actually make it yellow, so never mind. Um, we do have sprinkles, though. I'm going to mix a bunch of sprinkles into them. I may mix the rest of the sprinkles into it. Drop towel. That's true. That's true. These are my towels that I got recently. And they're great because they're cute and they have teapots on them, but you have to fold them like in thirds if you want it to be folded, but also still show the print graphic. And that's kind of a racket. <laughs> that's kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, I'm gonna get these dishes out of the way and we're gonna start mixing up our cheesecake batter. Should I use the stand mixer? Everybody's like, oh, don't use the stand mixer, don't use the stand mixer, you're gonna over mix it, but like I can turn it off. Ow, <laughs> Um, I I think it would probably be fine. Mm -hmm. How much am I mixing actually? What am I, what am I actually putting together? A pink lemonade color? Perhaps. That's actually kind of a cute idea. It's my cheesecake. I can have a pink cheesecake if I want to. Uh, Reiko, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. So yeah, cream cheese. We're going to mix cream cheese and sugar and then vanilla and then eggs and stuff and then just pour it in. That's going to be the thing. That's going to be the thing to do. Okay. I'm going to use the stand mixer because I have one and I would like to. Uh, so we can get this out of the way. Can scooch this bad boy back. I can see if I can give you like an in mixer view. That might be kind of fun. And I'm going to need some sugar. How much sugar am I looking for here? The trouble with having recipes digitally is that they, they turn off. <laughs> uh, I'm after half a cup of sugar, half a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and two eggs. That's easy enough. So I'm just going to plunk a half a cup of sugar into here. Make sure I have my vanilla handy. I'm sure that will, well, maybe I'm doing lemon instead of vanilla. Maybe I don't need lemon and vanilla. That I'm, hmm. It might make the ratios even it more. So that's about half a cup. And we're just going to be careful not to overmix, that's all. 
so one of these one of these things has a mixing paddle. I'm not going to do it with the whip because you don't want to like add too much air, I don't think. Uh, cream cheese and sugar, and then we're going to do the lemon stuff and then the eggs. So that view is not the one that you're looking for. There you go. There you go. That's the move. Mm, I'll get the cream cheese in there before I add the paddle. I don't know if I'm the only person, but Classic made me miss Retail WoW. I played four hours today. <laughs> no, you're not the only person. I've heard that before. Uh, some people, like, they play Classic and they get excited about the world, but they want something that they had in retail. So they'll go do something in retail. Classic kind of made me excited to level and quest a little bit more. Um, because, you know, it's the same thing I'm doing in Classic, but I just want to do it not so much faster. I want to take a Classic attitude and pacing into into retail with all of the cool cool flashy stuff so this is so room temperature that it's like gonna stick to the foil it's probably fine i can scrape some of it up we're gonna need a one of the scoobly doobloos anyways so oh oh i caught it i caught it it's the first thing i've caught in my whole life uh so get that in there Don't think you can make yellow? Is it the primary color? Yeah, no, I can't mix anything to make yellow for sure. If I had yellow food coloring, I could probably do it, but I definitely do not have that right now. One of these days, because I always, I always run into this problem, I'm always doing a baking stream and being like, man, I want to color this X color and then I don't have the stuff. And then you get the situation like we had with, um, what were we making when we were melting different colored sprinkles to try to make dye? <laughs> it was, um, Oh gosh, it was some kind of icing for something. I don't remember what we were making. It might have been an iced cookie. Sugar cookies, it was the Seafarers doubloons. Though that was a trip. <laughs> Literal butter fingers, mm, cream cheese fingers. Classic makes me want a tank, but not Mythic Plus. Mm. Can't do classic, did it once, pass. Played three of my characters today in retail, getting ready to play in another in a bit. Classic doesn't make me feel rushed, which is why I enjoy it. It feels relaxed in a weird way. That's the vibe that I really like from it. I'm not, and I know some people do feel rushed in Classic, but I'm just not one of them. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere in a hurry, and that's perfectly fine by me. I'm perfectly happy to just kind of wander around and see what's going to happen. Okay. So we're just going to mix this in and then add our lemon. I'm going to do this not too quick. Maybe on about there. Man, I'm just happy that we actually got... I got a camera angle that can see into the bowl now. I mean, not all the way into the bowl, but partially. I thought I wouldn't bother with Classic, but I got three tunes to level 10 now, oddly relaxing. It's kind of fun seeing where classes came from um, and sort of seeing which features you miss. Okay, I'm gonna scrape the sides and the mixer. It looks like it's mostly incorporating really nicely. This is actually mixing a lot smoother than the last one I made. I think I left the cream cheese out longer. It's actually room temperature this time, which is helpful. So yeah, that's good. I'm going to add the lemon stuff. And then the eggs one at a time. I'm being much more conscientious than I would if you guys were not seeing into my bowl. <laughs> Although I'm still not lowering the mixer to crack an egg into it. I'm not that conscientious. Mostly mix in. One more. Get caught on a drawer. <laughs> I play classic, but the things that I like were the skill tree and the professions. It's nice leveling profession knowing that it's not a waste of time. Like, I feel like in live professions, they've leaned so far into helping you catch up if you're behind 
that it sort of invalidates anything but the very latest, most current stuff. And uh, I mean, that's convenient, but it's not, you don't feel like you've accomplished as much. You don't feel like you're really committed. You know, I have a bunch of characters that are alchemists or whatever just because they can be and they can very quickly get caught up. And I feel like removing that time commitment needed to be a jewel crafter. Well, not jewel crafting, but like a, uh, you know, a leather worker or a tailor has made it less exciting to be one of those things. And finally play a hunter. Feel weird sitting outside with my mail. Mm. Uh, boyfriend, sister, the painter used colors in the opposite for brown. I want to take my time, but as a warlock, I need to rush so my demons get cooler names. I, uh, I'm looking forward to 20 because I'm going to be able to... Hang on, I think this is almost done. I'm looking forward to 20 because I'm going to be able to get my succubus, and we're going to get to find out what her name is. Even if I hit 20 off stream, I'm not doing the succubus quest until I got you guys there. Okay. Uh, don't overmix. Pour into the springform pan, and then we're basically going to get this, this bacon rolling. So, Oh, no, I was going to mix in sprinkles. So I'm just going to... Oh, no, and I also wanted to make it pink. That's right. That's right. Uh, so let's do... Let's put this on stir so it's not going very quickly. A little bit of pink. Mm. Yeah, pink lemonade. I don't know what makes pink lemonade pink, unless it's just dye. I think that's nice. I think I only want to do the one drop. I don't want it to be like a neon pink. And then uh, get that mixed in. And we're going to do a bunch of sprinkles because it's a birthday cake. There you go. There you go. That's the stuff. Okay. This is either going to be really adorable or just awful. <laughs> One of those two things is going to happen. So we're going to pour them into this. Into this. I'm going to use a, a foil sling, which is basically just to help me lift the pan in and out of the pressure cooker. Um, they make silicone ones, but I didn't really want to own a thing for a job that I don't do very often. If I end up making these all the time, then I'll probably get one. But I'm just folding, folding it into a foil strip that I can sit the pan on top of so that I can kind of like lift it up, sort of. And then uh, we can... Oops, that was dumb. Don't do that at home. Uh, get our get our scoobly doobly back. <laughs> My fingers are having a bad day. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, uh, baking stream cool. Yeah, we're making a. I'm actually really excited about this now that I can see how pretty the uh, the cheesecake batter looks like because I mixed in uh, pink food coloring and a bunch of sprinkles. So it looks like I'm turning six, and I'm on board with that. I am 100% on board. Okay. Make sure it's actually mixed and I'm going to pour it in. I just want to like keep it on top of the foil just because I'm not going to be able to move it very well later. And this way, if there's any lumpiness from the cheesecake, I can be like, oh no, that's not my fault. It was just the sprinkles. You know, I don't even know who put those in there. What a weird idea. Who did that? This is the worst angle. <laughs> I, I need to be facing this way. This isn't working. Okay. And then I'm gonna smooth it out. There's still like a few lumps that aren't completely pink, but it's kind of swirly, so it's okay. That mixed up really nicely. I don't know, dumb idea. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, the lemon really comes through in the flavor. That's nice. <laughs> I need to I need to wrap up my extra mic cable. I'm getting caught in everything today. So we can slam it down and we're actually gonna do this in the instant pot. So I'm going to add 
What are we doing? I have my directions. I want to say it's one cup of water and 25 minutes on high. I think that's it. Yeah, one cup of water into the bottom of the thing because you never pressure cook anything dry. I don't know what happens, but it's probably bad because it uses steam to create the pressure. So I don't even know what you get if you do it without that, but it wouldn't be good. Cheesecake Factory. Who? That's right. That's right. Okay. Cap of water into the bottom of that. Put it in. And I had a, am I just gonna sit it on the bottom? Or I had like a trivet thing. I had like a little metal thing. And I don't really understand. I know that this is like a stand for the bottom of the pot and I'm gonna use it, but it doesn't really lock in place in any meaningful way. Like the sides kind of hold it, but not very stably. Um, it kind of like wiggles side to side, but I think this is how I did it last time. So I'm gonna do it again. Fold that in there. I can fold these kind of over the top a little bit, although not too much. You don't want them to like get into the cheesecake. And, uh, oh, no, can't, can't move the pot. It's plugged in. I can move the camera. So that's the situation there. It's, uh, it's gonna sit in. You wanna make sure it seals. But those are how we're gonna lift it out after all this is done. Although I could probably just grab it, but that's fine. That'll do. And then it's also being held above the water. So you seal it up, which feels like locking a bunker for the apocalypse. Make sure that's on sealing. And I'm gonna do uh, 25 minutes on high. I know you can turn the beeping off on this thing, but I still want it to beep to tell me when it's done. But it makes so many other goofy noises. <laughs> Pog, you up, Nacho fan? How you doing? Birthday today, what a coincidence. Happy birthday. Doesn't get pressure with that water, it's a bomb. <laughs> Uh, tie the mic cable back with your apron. I don't know why I find the classic quest can burn you out if you don't have knowledge of what quest to take. Maybe. Um, I think it depends on your expectations. I, I've been doing a lot of wandering around looking for quests, and that's kind of fun because I'm excited when I discover them, although sometimes I discover quests that I should have found earlier because now they're too low level for me. But I want to do them anyways because I want the rep. It's fun how you can do quests that you like really out level, but you still have to actually like try to kill the mobs. They're still dangerous, even though they're great. Uh, can you get pets in classic? You can, but it's not quite like it is on live. You cannot name them. There is no pet journal, so it's just an item in your inventory and you don't level them or anything like that either. But there's different pets that you can get and carry around with you and summon them. Oh, seal it up, arm the device, run for the hills. That's what it felt like the first time I tried using that thing. <laughs> I like I turned it on and I went okay do I should I leave should I leave the house uh early happy birthday to you Hazel thanks Firestorms are you a fan of the Warhammer license not directly no I haven't really had much experience with Warhammer aside from friends of mine that I had as a teenager spending a lot of money painting figurines I don't know if they ever got a game going I think they just bought the figurines and painted them but um I never got into it myself it seems cool I just uh did not partake. Uh, Vanilla Toon has a Bombay cat as a pet. That's really nice. I want to buy an owl for my hunter, but it's like 20 silver. It might even be 50 silver. It's like a lot of silver. And I have that much silver now. I could do it. I might do it anyways, but I don't know if that's what I was saving my silver for. <laughs> okay. So that's gonna take probably like 10 minutes-ish to come up to pressure, and then it's gonna cook for 25 minutes, and then I need to let it release for another 10. So that's looking at like an hour. And I don't know if I'm going to stream that long. This might be the world's shortest baking stream. The Instant Pot is just not, it's not a very complicated recipe. Um, clean up a little bit. I think that's gonna turn out really well. I'm definitely not eating cheesecake batter right now. You can't prove it. But I think the cheesecake's gonna be good. I think the lemon flavor is just the right amount of lemon flavor. Maybe it could be a little stronger because I feel like lemon flavors get like a little mellowed out once you bake it. We'll find out. Instant Pot takes an hour about that name. It is very misleading. I know when I got it, 
all, and all the people raving about it are talking about how much more quickly it cooks food. So if you, if you don't know much about it, you'll think that it makes food really quickly. But it cooks food quickly, but it has to come up to pressure and it has to depressurize. And none of those things are really done in a hurry unless you're, um, I mean, you can't get it up to pressure any faster. You can depressurize it more quickly, but that's uh, recipe, recipe dependent. Clean up a little bit. Someone in classic with a panda pet, don't know how they did it. That one is from uh, the, if they had the original vanilla collector's edition, if you have a vanilla collector's edition license on your account, then you get the panda pet in classic. That's the only way you can get it. Like your cooking tabard? Why, thank you. Um, if you depressurize it too quickly, does your teeth can't get the bends? <laughs> Diving jokes, there you go. Mm. Perhaps this one you're supposed to let the pressure naturally release over 10 minutes and then release the rest of it. But that should be, that should be fine. I'm gonna make some tea. Am I gonna make some chai tea? I think so, because I'm not going back to bed. <laughs> and if I don't make it, I'm gonna go back to bed. I might be starting my weekend a little bit early, but I'm gonna make some of that chai, I think. It's gonna be very warm, because it feels warm in here. It's, uh, it's only 78. I don't know why I've been feeling so warm. I've been feeling like five degrees warmer for the last like week. I don't think that's a cold symptom. Okay, uh, this, Stuff is really nice because they've put in a bunch of um, like actual uh, chunks of spices. It's not just tea and artificial flavoring. You've got like actual uh, ginger root and uh, cinnamon bark in here, which is nice. So the flavor really comes through. I'm gonna make some of that. Get my fancy temp control kettle out. I am no longer quite as fanatically into as many fancy teas as I used to be. I feel like my tea phase is definitely over, but I still <laughs> use this. I'm still, I don't regret this thing at all because I still use the different settings like every day because even if I'm not having fancy green tea, I still want to brew it at a green tea temperature. And uh, the oolongs are really nice done too. Does live still have the house in Elwyn? Yeah, I think that's still in there, yep. Have you tried any of the drinks from the WoW cookbook? Um, the, the WoW cookbook or the Hearthstone cookbook? Because they both have beverages. The Hearthstone one has more cocktails. With the WoW cookbook, I made the eggnog. I made the eggnog from the WoW cookbook. I did not make much else. All of the like cocktail recipes, um, they require like very specific liquors and we don't really keep that many different types of liquors around. We don't really drink that much, so if I like, if I was ever an adult that had a house that had a bar cart, I say that like it comes with the house and like I couldn't just get one. If I ever had a bar cart that I had the disposable income and desire to stock with like all of the different weird types of liquor that you use to make cocktails, then maybe. Twitch needs smell o vision I reckon that bag of tea smells real good. It does. Peach green tea, loose leaf? Oh yeah, always loose leaf. The only ones that I have that are bag tea are ones that are like cheap nostalgia hits for me. So like, I've, I've got like a cheap bag breakfast tea and then um, my honey lemon ginseng tea brand is like a, is a cheap bag one and that's pretty good too. Mead's basically booze honey, so that's great. Any meat plus, mead plus fruit's gonna be good too. Yeah, I actually knew that mead was booze honey because I used to make mead all the time in Stardew Valley. I used to give it to, um, the fisherman guy, uh, the fisherman NPC, mead is one of his favorite things. So if you take your honey and you put it in your keg, then you get mead and you can give it to that guy and he's like your best friend. Hazel vision. <laughs> Love mead, but it's not always the tea I'm going for. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. They have like a mulled spiced wine, I think, in the cookbook. They have all kinds of stuff I should probably try. So every now and then I go through a phase of my life where I'm just feeling generally ambitious and wanting to try things I've never done before. So next time one of those rolls around, I'm gonna get back into the WoW cookbook. I still need to finish learning how to make bread properly. Uh. Don't mind me, I'm just doing my dishes. <laughs> I can't just like leave them here. 
my friends have been teasing me about playing Alliance for Classic. Do you have any jokes to make fun of them for playing Horde for Classic that I could use? Ooh, um... <laughs> oh, nothing off the top of my head. It just reminded me, I have this friend that is really hilariously anti-Horde. And um, he was making a video for a service, like a tutorial video for like a website. And uh, he was describing how to do a thing, but like in the middle of it, he just drops in some line about uh, about the stinking horde and how we must never forget the crimes they've committed against our people. Completely straight faced in a video targeted at people that don't usually mess with that kind of thing. It was so funny. Uh, drawn by Willow, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Happy December. I need to. I'm. I'm. I hope you guys know <laughs> that. I'm consuming less uncooked cheesecake batter than I normally would have because I'm streaming, which is probably for the best. You guys are probably a force of protecting my health because you're not supposed to because like, you know, raw eggs, you know, salmonella, whatever. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. But, uh, you know, I, I can't get away with that much of it on stream, so I'm just kind of washing the dishes. I like saying, ha ha, we're sucks. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sad that I can't come up with anything off the top of my head because I don't have an actual problem with the Horde. I mean, that would be silly. They're, they're fictional and they've got some really cool races. Take care, Hazel. Uh, not supposed to eat meat every day, but we do it anyways. Mm. In the early 2000s, there was a company that made a working smell vision but they only ever made one because people didn't want to buy them. I feel like, especially now in a current internet age, um, people would not want smell vision because they wouldn't trust uh, the world not to abuse it. Sometimes steam escapes when it's sealing. I wonder if it's not sealed correctly. It's probably fine. We'll see if it ever actually gets up to pressure. It is not up to pressure yet. Mm, a little bit is coming from the rim. I'm going to depressurize this. I'm going to cancel. I'm going to depressurize it. I'm going to check the seal just because I don't really want that to be how I go out. <laughs> I don't want this to be the day that it all ends. So this is going to waste a little bit of time, that's okay. I guess it's not even up to pressure yet, so I can probably just open it. Sorry, cheesecake. Let me take a look at this. Oh, yeah. How did it even let me close that? That's not fully on. My bad. Oh, also, I'm using the wrong one anyways. Oops. <laughs> I, uh, I have different seals for this thing, depending on what I'm cooking in it. Because the seals are silicone, and they kind of absorb flavors a little bit. And for the most part, it's not a problem. But I do have a separate one for my husband if he's making like a chicken, like or a meat thing. And then I have one that I use for desserts. So I don't, just so that you don't get like your curry flavors in your cheesecake. So I needed to switch this anyways. But that seal was not properly in. So this is a little hot, so we're being careful. Because my fingers have seen enough damage today. Mm-hmm, almost there. Okay, that is better. <laughs> that should work. Should be fine. I don't think that's gonna make a big, big difference. Uh, maybe I should add like a little bit of extra water just because some of it will have escaped. So not like a full cup or anything, but just like some. Assuming that I can get it in without pouring it into my poor cheesecake. There we go. Okay. Try that again. <laughs> Round two. And my water's hot. How much tea am I making? Probably just like a normal size pot. Mine does that too. It's not an issue. I uh, need the fingers for clicking. They are precious. I imagine that there must be pro gamers, I don't know about content creators, but there must be pro gamers that have their hands literally insured. Like you used to hear about having singers having their like voices or their throats or their tongues insured or something like that. Pianists having their hands insured. Pressure cooker makes sounds like an NES game. It really does and it kind of spooks me out. I don't like it when 
inanimate devices try to pretend that they have like emotions, like it's all happy to see me. Weird. It's weird. It's weird and I don't like it. Okay. Let's try not to Hulk smash any of my teaware. Tea scoop over on this side. Smart with the seals, mine permanently smells of baked beans. Yeah, we have three. It's kind of annoying because then you have to store two extra Instant Pot seals. But, you know, theoretically they'll last longer because we're rotating them and then you have one for each set of smells. It's not too bad. Like, I find that if I sniff the seal, it smells, but it doesn't often impart flavor into the food. Um, so I use just the one, the, the clear one that it came with for most things. Most things. Happy birthday. I'd gift you a sub for your birthday. Someone stole it. Waiting for Twitch to get back to me. Mm, fair. Uh, Hazel, always get you out of a bad mood. Have such a wonderful personality. Aw, shucks. Aw, thanks. I know if you have hands insured. Mm hmm. That sounds, that sounds like a thing. I feel like if, um, if I was ever gonna try to get my hands insured, I would probably take down this VOD so that, um, <laughs> I'd probably take the VOD down so, uh, they, they couldn't see how <laughs> uncareful I am. <laughs> with my fingers. Stream is relaxation before I go to it tonight. Things you do for your partner. It might be fun. I'm sure it's going to be a good movie. I heard, like, if you're seeing the sequel, I heard that Bill Hader's in it. He's funny. I don't know if he's going to be funny in that, but he's just good. I, uh, I really, really liked uh, Barry. I thought that was a great show. Good evening, Fofofila. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, this is going to need to steep for a little bit. Put some of the sprinkles back. I kind of expected myself to like dump all the sprinkles in. I'm surprised that I exercised restraint. That doesn't really sound like me. Also, that came up to pressure so fast. I guess the water was already kind of warm, but uh, shows. <laughs> I, I thought it was taking kind of a long time earlier, but I suppose it actually was. Okay, that's gonna be ready soon. And I'm gonna have, which cup am I gonna have? I just want like a little one. I just want a little teeny tiny teacup oh i want to no i can't have a fancy one today i've been dropping stuff um i'll have a cheap one i'm gonna have this one and then you guys aren't allowed to see that mug but you can see this one because i didn't make these ones good afternoon finally caught a stream welcome uh oh wait, there we go i had a water there it is it does feel like the temperature's rising and i can look at a thermometer and it's really not pull up a chair. So what you guys doing this weekend? I uh, was trying to figure out what I want to do with mine. I feel like I need to take it real easy because if I am getting a cold, I don't want to make it worse by like losing sleep or drinking or being stressed out. So I kind of think maybe I just stay home and drink a lot of tea with like honey in it. Maybe we order food and then play classic wow a lot. I don't know. My favorite mug I have different ones for different situations, and the thing that makes me the most happy is to have the perfect mug match to the perfect beverage. So like, if I'm having Earl Grey tea, this china cup here, this is my Earl Grey tea tea cup. This was a gift from a fan. It's beautiful. And this is specifically for Earl Grey tea. Um, my overall favorite, I don't know, I kind of rotate them. I like the Murloc mugs a lot, but I don't think they really qualify as a favorite. They're like super cute and they're nice and big, but they're awkwardly shaped enough that they don't really spark as much joy as something else. I kind of like this one actually. This is more recent. This is my, my fish mug. Um, I bought this at a uh, Japanese, like an Asian grocery store, and it says it's from Japan. I don't know if I believe them, but uh, it's just got like a bunch of fish on it and it's just like a nice cute mug size. I'm still on the lookout, I think, for my favorite mug, though. I, I've, had, I've had some in the past. I remember when I was like 13 or 14, I bought myself a mug at a gift shop. And the cashier asked me who it was for, and I think I lied, and I told them it was for my sister or my mom or something, when it was definitely for me. I bought myself a, a mug, and, which isn't that weird, but it was like very much set up as a gift. But it was like a hand-painted one. I remember I couldn't put it through the dishwasher and I couldn't microwave it, so I had to hand wash it, which was a big ask when you're 13 and lazy. But I did that and I used to drink tea out of that mug every single day and I was so sad when I eventually broke it because I had been like dreading breaking it for years because I figured eventually I would. 
And then I did, and it did suck, but I got over it. But I'm still on the lookout for my next favorite mug because I feel like they have these really beautiful, like, hand-painted gradient ones by, like, local artists around here that are, like, kind of big and kind of stout, and they've got, like, earthy, like, teals and purples and stuff on them. That doesn't make any... S I don't think I'm describing it very well, but there's a very specific mug look that I'm thinking of, and I want to get one of those one day. So it's from Japan, actually from China, entirely possible. I'm not too mad. I've decided that I'm not that fancy and that I don't really need my things, at least at this stage of my life, to be incredibly well crafted as long as they are functional enough for me to take good care of them and get a good lifespan out of them. Like, I, um, I was reading about different types of furniture and different places to get furniture from. And, uh, and I was reading about how one of the things to look for if you're trying to figure out how quality your furniture is is whether or not it's made out of particle board, which makes sense because particle board is like glued together wood scraps. But I was thinking all of my stuff is particle board. You know, it's like all Ikea and cheap particle board stuff from Amazon. And I love it. It looks really nice. It was affordable. It's not heavy to move. And as long as nobody climbs on it, it's not going to break. It does exactly what I got it for. You just can't expect more from it then it's gonna give you and maybe it won't last forever but like I'm trying to think what's gonna happen to it what's gonna happen to like a shelf that's gonna make it like wear out like I don't think it's gonna just like snap in the middle it has like half a pound of things on it <laughs> uh, a co-worker collects Starbucks location then that's kind of fun can I have some lemon birthday cake no it's all mine oh man it's a uh, it's it seems like a good idea though I feel like, I feel like just mixing the lemon juice into the cheesecake and then some sprinkles, I feel like it's a thing. I used to use a glass beer mug for my tea. It was a 99 cent mug that lasted about 15 to 20 years. Price doesn't matter as long as it looks good, just not too expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to try and tell you that I'm minimalistic or that I'm not materialistic. I like nice things. I just also like my cheap things when they've been good to me. <laughs> Let's have, oh, why am I taking my stool away? I'm going to pour a cup of tea. I'm going to have some milk. And normally I don't put sugar in my tea because it's something I drink all the time, but you know what? It's almost my birthday and I feel like a chai tea can be really good sometimes with like a little bit of brown sugar. So I'm going to mix some of that in with the milk. Actually, I have whole milk. I can make this a little creamier. Um, I can mix some of that with some whole milk. I'm actually, you know what? We're getting fancy. I'm going to heat up the whole milk a little bit. So not too much, but just like, you know, an eighth of a cup, say of milk, maybe a little less in a smaller mug. And then I'm gonna do that for like 20, 15, 20 seconds in the microwave, just to warm it up a little bit. And then like, I don't know, half a teaspoon of brown sugar. Mix that up and I think that'll be nice. It's not gonna be quite as good as like steeping the tea in milk on the stove. I do that sometimes, but that's too hot for today. <laughs> it's too warm in here to be doing that. But um, you know, kind of like, a, kinda like a, a way to fake it. And then the other one. That one can do 20 seconds. I was going to ask you something else, but can't remember what. Been there. That's okay. You know where to find me. I'm around. I got this plastic travel mug for drinking coffee because if I spill it, I don't get an entire mug of coffee on my desk. That's smart. It's nice to find something that is exactly what you wanted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Witnessing real tea magic. I mean, it's magic in that I want it very much now, so it's got the, it's got the desire behind it gonna do I'm too close to my instant pot <laughs> I want to back up a little bit over here a little bit of this mm, maybe that much maybe that much yeah a little more I'm gonna have a small one thinking of hot chai makes me long for winter I am, and I'm gonna regret this as soon as it's like the season where my feet are perpetually cold until June but I am so ready for cooler weather. It's been, it's like an 85, 90 degree day out here. So like, you know, high 20s, early 30s Celsius. And it's been like that for a while. And it's nice and it's great for the lemon trees and it's nice outside, but it's just so warm. And I want to wear sweaters and I want to wear hoodies and I want to just like, you know, drink warm tea all the time and not just feel sweat running down places that really would prefer to be dry. <laughs> Hazel, what's your favorite cracker? I'm torn between Triscuit and Wheat Thin. Mmm. Oh man, you and my grandmother could have a real conversation about that. She, that lady has opinions on crackers. So recently, actually, um, 
Blue Diamond makes these nut thins. There's like almond nut thins that have like seeds and they're made with like almond flour but also rice flour. And they're like lightly salted and they're really good. And they're like stupid expensive for a cracker, which makes me mad, but they're really good. Have you ever used, oh, Flex for the bit donation? Oh, Isender, Isender, thank you very much for the 1600 bits, appreciate that. Ever use coconut sugar? It's all I use now, it doesn't raise your blood sugar, it does not taste like coconut. I actually have never used coconut sugar. I use coconut oil all the time. Um, but uh, it sounds like a good idea, I should try it. That might be nice in, um, nice in tea. 80s to 90s, but with 80% humidity, ooh. I wanna buy sweaters, but I live in Texas and sweater weather lasts like a week in February. Mm, that's, I, feel, I feel that. I love having seasons. It's, it's nice to have summer for a little bit. It's nice to, I feel like I'm, I do prefer colder weather though. Like not super cold, you know? I don't really care for having to wear uh, like, big, well, no, big fluffy mitts are fun too then because you feel like, a, feel like a big snowman. I like it, I like it cold, I like it cold. You get, to, you get to bundle up, you get to feel all safe in like all of your layers. You get to have uh, hot tea and hot chocolate and uh, hot baths and uh, enjoy them more. And I feel like layering clothing is just more fun to me than like worrying about how much you're going to take off before somebody thinks you're a bad person. You know, it's just like a less stressful paradigm. <laughs> Scatter Realm, thank you very much for the, for the three months. Just leaving winter New Zealand, bring on the summer. There you go. Uh, will you be streaming on your birthday? Yep, absolutely. We're going to do a WoW stream. Um, it'll be either classic or retail, depending on what I want to do, because it's going to be my birthday. That's going to be Sunday morning, normal time. Unless I get sicker. If I'm really sick, then I won't. But I would like to. I'm planning to right now. I live in Scotland, where it's always sweater weather, preferably waterproof sweaters. I feel like that would be such a nice place to visit. I don't know if I'd want to live there forever, especially because I feel like my hair would just expand endlessly in the humidity, but um, I feel like that would be such a beautiful place to visit. Arizona is an oven, please help. Oh no. You can always put more layers on, but you can only take so much off. Mm -hmm. 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. It's nice, but I like the variety, you know, like there's lots of, there's a few places in California that are like endlessly 20 to 25 Celsius and they'll get to 30 every now and then in a heat wave, but for the most part, they're just like 24 and sunny forever. Um, you know, like 70, 74 ish, 75 ish Fahrenheit. And it's, it feels fake. It feels like somebody just like wrote down what they wanted and then did a deal with the devil. And then the devil gave them that weather in that part of California. It doesn't feel like a real place. What are you leveling in classic? I have a warlock and I also have a hunter and I've been leveling them both like almost evenly. They're both teens. My Warlock's 17, Hunter's 13. If you remove enough layers, you end up ethereal. Uh, what's your favorite junk food? Don't say something that's actually healthy. Oh, I wouldn't do that to you. Um, I love, uh, oh, what are they called? Shoot, what are they called? There's different like brand names for them. Like cheese puffs, but the crunchy ones. Like if I'm going to go for a snack food, I'll usually go for a snack mix because then you also get some chips and you also get like some pretzels and the variety is nice, but it's all about the weird, crunchy, skinny, um, electric orange, super fake, very salty cheese puffs. They're not healthy at all, but they're very good. I like those a lot. Cheetos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Cheetos person. I don't get them ever, <laughs> but if I have a choice and I've decided I'm eating snacks, that's happening. Uh, hi, Hazel and chat. Wait, so I'll watch it all a little later super into the hot ones right now. I don't know if I've ever tried the hot ones. I've heard a lot about the like legends of Flaming Hot Cheetos. I don't know if I can ever say that I've actually tried it. Mm, I'm gonna have this one and I'm going to stick a straw in there and deliver this one. I'll be right back. There you go. Can't have two cups of tea. Did you ever buy the popcorn twists? Oh yeah. Actually, I didn't buy them, but other people did and they shared them with me is what happened with those. Those are good. Those are decent. I have very specific memories for some reason of eating those at work at the store I used to work at, which is weird because I don't think I did. But yeah, no, I've, I've definitely had those before. There's an amazing making of Cheetos video on YouTube. Is there really? Cheesecake day? Yeah. 
First time stopping by for a baking stream, how could I resist cheesecake? It's, uh, it's currently hidden away in the Instant Pot, which I actually am starting to appreciate as a device that cooks food without really raising the temperature of your kitchen the same way the oven does. No hot Cheeto crust. Uh, flaming hot Cheeto crust cheesecake. All right. Okay. Flaming hot Cheeto crust cheesecake. And in the cheesecake and topping it are jalapeno peppers. We get like different types of hot peppers. And then it's cream cheese. It's not sweetened and also contains sharp cheddar cheese. So it's basically like a creamier, spicy quiche with a Cheeto crust. It's crazy, but I've heard worse. I've heard crazier. The false memory of the matrix. Hazel bake emote with a little apron. That might be kind of cute. We do have a few more emote slots and I'm just kind of waiting until uh, an idea strikes me from the heavens and compels me to get it made or to make it myself. Preferably make it myself because um, they're expensive. <laughs> good art is good art isn't cheap and I want to pay my art as well and I want to tip them. So it's expensive to get it done. Just a jalapeno dip. Yeah, but like in a cheesecake form. You would want to serve it as like an appetizer at some weird stoner party. Um, but like in really small squares or like just, you know, small portions. Nobody wants to have like a giant slice of that cheesecake. But you could have it in small portions aside from some like, you know, weird pickled stuff, right? <laughs> a jalapeno popper cheesecake. <laughs> that might actually be good, right? Like I feel like at the right party, you got to get your venue right. That might go down. If I didn't hate the texture of cheesecake, a cheesecake brie, kind of. Kind of. You need to have like the roasted peppers. Roasted hot peppers. Mm. Oh, this is good. This needed the sugar. This, this, or I needed the sugar. Maybe I should say that. I wish my pupper was like Joker. If I'm doing anything in the kitchen, she's attached to me and my feet, hoping for whatever I'm cooking. Oh uh, yeah, Joker's a good boy. He's asleep in his bed right now. He's, um, he's not much of a beggar. He's more of a, a ninja. He still wants scraps but he knows he's not supposed to have them. So he wants to get them when he thinks you're not looking. So as long as he thinks that you're gonna see him, he doesn't bother. But as soon as you have your back turned, he's gonna go sniff up in your business. Like as soon as you leave the room, he's gonna check to make sure you didn't drop anything. Are savory cheesecakes a thing? I haven't had any, no. Um, I'm sure they must be. You know, there's weird restaurants that do all kinds of weird stuff. So it's gotta be a thing. I just, uh, I don't know if I've ever had one. How about a fridge tour? You don't need a fridge tour. There's food in there. It's like, I don't know. Um, a lot of dairy. I just put my hand, I almost put my hand in my teeth. A lot of dairy. Um, I have some leftover, leftovers. I have some spinach. I have some vegetables. I have some cheese. I've got some milk. I made um, like a tuna melt and a half a bagel for lunch today. And then I put the rest of the tuna and the, rest, and the other half of the bagel. I have a poor hasad half of a bagel wrapped up in the fridge for me to melt tuna on tomorrow because, um, or later tonight if I'm hungry. Because whole bagels are so delicious, but they're also just so much food. They just, it's too many carbs, it just kills me. My dog Nichols is dubbed quality control in my kitchen. There you go. Mm. That's how my dog got some Thai curry ninja skills. Mythical Morning made a Philly cheesecake, a Philly cheesesteak cheesecake. There's a wrap for you. That does sound like something they would do. I haven't watched that show in a while, but that sounds about right. So in eight minutes, we're going to have to wait another 10 minutes. Darn it. I was almost excited. <laughs> I was almost excited. In eight minutes, we're going to have to wait another 10 minutes. So, and I, like I said, I can't slice it. I mean, I could, but I shouldn't. Um, it's got to set after it comes out. So I'm going to post. I can tweet it. That's fine. I have weird social media anxiety. Like I, I'm trying to get over it. I'm trying to post weird, somewhat awkward stuff just to post things to kind of try and work through this weird posting anxiety I have because I feel like I'm getting it with everything. That might be part of why it's hard for me to make YouTube videos is because I'm afraid of just putting something out there. So I, I can tweet a picture of a cheesecake. That's what Twitter's for. So I'm going to tweet and probably my Instagram story um, once we actually slice it, which will probably be tomorrow. I have a dislike for clowns, but I'm going to go watch a clown movie facing my fears head on. I'll catch you all later. Good luck. You're going to do good. You're going to do good. It should be a good movie. 
I'm not going to see it, but it should be a good movie. I'm too scared. I never saw the first one. I never saw the original, and I never saw the first remake. My Instagram, 100% cats. Yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to set it up. Like, I want places for everything, so at least I feel like I've set an expectation on each platform, because nobody cares what you post. But, like, I want to I wanna not feel like I'm posting the wrong thing. So pictures-wise, I feel like for Instagram, I'm just going to make it mostly pictures of me, or if I want to post like a, a plant or a fish or something, I'm going to try and include myself in some way because those pictures do like 700% better. And I don't know how to Instagram, but that seems like a good hint. And then for stuff, other stuff like my cat or like a food thing that I made or like a plant or whatever, I can just put whatever on Twitter. Nobody cares. Um, which is weird because I'll do that, but I won't tweet when I'm streaming. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think that's my plan. I have an, uh, oh, it's their Instagram? I mean, that's fair then, you know, that's what people signed up for. Seeing that on Monday? Doesn't have to be perfect, just do it. I think that's what I gotta just do. I don't know where this came from. I used to post all kinds of garbage. It was fine. It was fun. It wasn't a problem. I don't know where, where all of this came from. I feel like the longer I spend just thinking and in my head, the more complexes I'm giving myself. Like I'm actively incubating new mental problems to have. That's not a good thing to do. I read it to my girlfriend after we saw the first remake. Looking forward to the next. A new theme added by Stephen King. I didn't know that. I'm so hip, I call it The Gramps. Oh, man. So I'm planning my BlizzCon trip, and I'm gonna... One thing that I want to do is try to uh, record more, both for social media, but also just for the video. Because I was watching last year's BlizzCon video, and it was fine. It was acceptable for a first year's BlizzCon but I definitely recorded almost nothing. I didn't have very much footage and that's silly because that's half the reason I'm going. So I want this year to kind of like get over myself and just record more and I just feel so dumb holding a camera, pointing it at anything. I feel so self-conscious about it and I think I just need to work through that because it's, it's a, especially like that's what I'm there for. <laughs> My mom and I love it, saw it yesterday night. It was really good. Not as scary as I would have liked, but the story was amazing. Uh, the cheesecake's part of your work, so you can view it as a work post if that helps, perhaps. Oh yeah, Crackly Mike, there we go. Uh, that movie terrified me? Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm, uh, I'm... <laughs> the last time I tried to watch an actually scary movie, there's only one or two that I've ever been able to watch voluntarily and enjoy the experience. Um, I watched Silence of the Lambs because my parents wouldn't let me watch it for a long time, which made me want to watch it. And then when I eventually watched it, I was so set in my conviction that I wanted to watch it that I sat through the whole thing and actually really enjoyed it because it was just a good movie. And because it was more, there were a few jump scares, but for the most part, that wasn't what it was about. But ever since then, like I tried to watch a scary movie in a theater once because I lied and said I didn't care which movie we watched when I was a kid. And then I had to like walk out of the theater. I couldn't even sit through it. Everyone knows why you're recording. I think you forget that. I don't think everybody knows. I hope everybody doesn't know. How embarrassing. <laughs> okay, three minutes. And then I gotta make, wait 10 minutes. I was thinking, I'm gonna look, I'm not gonna do it today because that's just a, that's just a, the wrong choice. But um, I wanted to look at the WoW cookbook and see if I still have the stuff. Don't mind me, you can't see me, but you can still hear me through the magic of wireless technology. Um, come with me into the closet. Yep, and then we're leaving and I have fetched the WoW cookbook. I wanted to see if I had the stuff handy to make another cherry pie, because I'm pretty sure I still have cherries. I think I still have like three quarters of a bag of cherries, so maybe if I mix them. Do you think I could make it? I mean, I could. Do you think it would be good if I made a cherry blueberry pie? Um, not now, although maybe now, but not now. But, um, because I have extra shortening and I have flour and I have lots of butter. Cherry, cherry pie. So it asks for 20 ounces of cherries. I think I probably have like 12 ounces left. <sighs> the Hannibal TV show is so good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That, that was the show that really put me on the Mads Mikkelsen. Uh, wondering if, if being on Twitch is causing issues. I, I think I was having issues before Twitch. I think if anything, Twitch has helped me a little bit because I'm on, a, because my schedule is almost every day. Um, I'm letting go a little bit of the desire to make every stream perfect and I'm getting a little more comfortable with just kind of showing up and 
doing my best and that can that can be enough not every stream needs to be life-changing you know some of them could be but not everyone needs to be i saw pulp fiction when i was 10. i actually have never seen that one i know i should uh cherry strudel or cherry cupcakes cherry cupcakes might be kind of good i'm just anti-cupcake i'm not anti other people making cupcakes i enjoy viewing cupcakes but they have too many edges. Um, ooh, cherry tarts. That's the thing. Um, do I need another pan for that? I feel like I keep trying to make tarts, so like mini pies, but like little inch and a half, two inch ones. Um, and every time I try to make them, I try to make them in muffin tins because that's what I have. I try to make them just shallow in muffin tins. And I end up bringing the pastry too far up the side of the muffin tin so that my tarts are like deep. They're like deep dish. Chicago tarts and you know they're still pretty good but ooh that's a good idea little bitty little bitty baby ones oh, oh I have some red wine I could mix with it I could make like a mold wine cherry baked tart hi what happened to the cheesecake it's in there it is currently cooking in a pressure cooker I'm instant potting my cheesecake it's going to be done cooking now but I need to set a 10 minute timer because I need to let it naturally depressurize for 10 minutes and then release the remaining pressure. And then we can at least take it out and see what it looks like. A, a mold tart? Oh, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a tart mold. I'm, I'm hesitant to get other baking equipment because everything I get, I have to store. <laughs> and I don't have that much space in here. I have to think about where I'm going to put it. And there's not that much, I don't know mold wine's amazing yeah so what actually now that you've got to be curious about the kind of drinks that are actually in the wow cookbook because they do have some they have a they have a whole drink section they have a a cactus apple surprise which you look at it and you go yeah i'll have some of that but then you're like oh no i need to find tequila triple sec brandy no pardon me apple brandy prickly pear syrup and lemonade and chili powder and i feel like that sounds great but like I would need to be having a party. I would need to be hosting an event with a bunch of people over. Do you think if I work hard enough, I could get myself like a house? Hmm. <laughs> I want to, I want to host like guild parties, but, um, they're all, they all live really far or a lot of them live really far. They might travel if I was hosting. <laughs> they might travel if I was hosting like a LAN at my house. I want to do that. <laughs> Ooh, this one actually looks really good. They have a cherry grog recipe. That looks like my kind of drink. It's got uh, ginger beer and then rum and then cherry juice, lime juice, and cherries and limes. That sounds like my jam. Oh, man. Uh, remember to send out the summer with a nice wine slushy. I don't think I'm going to be drinking anything for a week or two, which is a little sad because it's my birthday, but I'm, uh, I don't need to drink that fun on my birthday, and I am definitely on the verge of getting sick. And every time I have any alcohol, it gets like instantly worse. It's just like telling my immune system to take the day off. And it looks so pretty. It sounds expensive to make once. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like you need to have a bunch of people over so you can make a bunch of them. Otherwise it's, it's like, and I guess, you know, you still have the stuff handy so you can make them for a long time, but that's, you gotta be really committed to drinking cactus apple surprises. Like you spend, like what, 60, 80 bucks on all of the different types of um, alcohol and juice that go into that. And then you're like, great, this is now my drink for the next decade. <laughs> this is now the thing that's happening. Ooh, this is a, they've got like a Pandaren plum wine that's got like sake and orange liqueur and plum jam. That's nice. There's a guy I watch on YouTube who uses a cookie cutter to mold his tarts and they look good. They stand up on their own. I feel like if maybe I should just get a tart pan or a tart mold because I love them a lot. It's not like getting a mold to make like cake pops, which would which would be something I would make once and then go, okay, all right, that's fine. I need to find a cocktail bar, bring your cookbook along and say, I want one of these. <laughs> I've never ordered a cocktail at a bar. The like two or three times I've ever been to a bar in my life, as opposed to just drinking at home. Um, I've been too anxious about being there and not understanding how they work. So I just order something really simple like a, like I used to get vodka cranberry because I knew that one <laughs> and anybody could make it for me. So that was fine. <laughs> or like a rum and Coke, just like the simplest possible things, just so I didn't forget the words when I actually got up to the bar. Mm. 
inside of the Instant Pot is a cheesecake. It is a pink lemonade sprinkle birthday cheesecake for me. Uh, half the pitchers left over at the party. Sangria seems to be the only thing that ever runs out. I think that depends on who you invited. <laughs> I sometimes eat cherries when they're frozen to cool down. Ooh, maybe. I like to eat chocolate chip cookies right out of the freezer. Oh my goodness, that's a great idea. How'd you get so smart? How'd you get so smart? You're absolutely right. I made cookies recently. They're like really flat and they're good that way. I eat them frozen. I don't ever defrost the cookies. Cake Pops the easy way is a sheet cake and an ice cream scoop. <laughs> a thick sheet cake? Mm, maybe. I feel like I made Cake Pops once or twice and then I was like, oh no, I don't like cake. <laughs> Mmm, good cookie. Happy birthday, why thank you. As a kid, it was my job to climb the cherry tree and bring the cherries back. How big was the cherry tree? We had one, but ours was like little. It was like as tall as, I don't know, it was probably like four feet tall, maybe five feet tall. It had a good amount of cherries, but it wasn't that big. No, there was no climbing it. I thought I was the only one eating cookies out of the freezer. Oh no. Absolutely not. No, I do gingerbread, well, all my cookies because they store longer in the freezer. And then you just kind of eat them out of the freezer because you're too lazy to defrost them. And then you learn to love them that way. <laughs> it can't be so thick. It's gotta be chewy still. Mm. Sugar syrup, cherry syrup. Angostura bitters, cherry brandy, cold brewed coffee, bourbon. That's really good. Do you have a birthday wish? <laughs> yeah, for my birthday, I want a better work ethic. <laughs> I want to be more focused. I'm working on it. I've been working on it my whole life though. What's, what's gonna make this year any different? I'm reading a new book. I started reading Getting Things Done that you guys recommended to me. I picked that up last night. Wanted to log on to Classic WoW, give me an option for a free server migration. Yeah, those are up, but they're only up for this weekend as far as I know. They're not going to be up for super long. So talk to your friends, talk to your guildies and the people you play with, and see if anybody wants to jump, because uh, you can do it, but you got to do it soon. You just had cookies in there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, really good coincidence. Really good coincidence. Pardon me. Mm-hmm. In order for the cookie to be chewy and frozen, it can't be too thick. It's got to be one of like the flatter, more spread out ones. And that's handy because a cookie, especially chocolate chip cookie, gets flat and spread out when you were too lazy to chill the dough before you bake them. Which is great because then you skip a step. You just put, you just make the, mix up the dough, throw it right in the oven, and then your cookies flatten out a bunch. But then they're like nice and chewy when they're frozen. Mmm. Kaylee Shea, thank you very much for the gift sub and text. Congrats. If I wasn't going out tonight, I'd totally make cookies. Making cookies, always an option. I mean, when you're home, but like any day, you know? Having a, I, I usually make cookies if it's a bad day. Usually if it's like a really good day, I've got like, I'll like, and I, if it's like, a, I'm, if I'm having a great day and I want to bake, then I'll make something fancier or that like takes longer. But if I'm having a rough day and I just want to bake, it's usually like kind of late and I just want to mix up some chocolate chip cookies because they're so easy. I always bake while studying for the scent. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I know we used to bake cookies when we were like showing our house. Um, our real estate agent told us to do it. We would like bake cookies and pies just to make the house smell good so that people would want to buy it. Which was good because I was young and I didn't really want to move because young people never really do. But at least I could soothe my pain of having to move by eating all this cookies, cookies and pie. <laughs> Happy birthday, Hazel. Why, thank you. It's up for a few more days. I'm going to be 27. I'm going to be 27 on uh, Sunday. Perhaps I should ask if you guys have any, any good, uh, good advice. I always think of birthdays kind of as like New Year's. 
like, I, I, it's kind of in my mind like a personal New Year's because, it, you know, it's personally a new year. So I, I don't really make resolutions, but I do a lot of self-reflection. I mean, I do it all year round, but I do it extra around my birthday. Uh, and I wonder if you guys have any smart advice for just my life, you know, for another year getting older. What would you, what would you write in a card if you were going to write me a card with, a lot, with advice in it as opposed to just one that said happy birthday? You were 27 last year and the year before? No, I was 26 and before that I was 25. You know, when I started YouTube, I was 21. I was, tw I was 21 when I first started making videos and I don't really believe it because I go back and watch those videos and I go, this person is like seven. <laughs> She's such a teeny tiny little baby. She's like so squeaky and, uh, and talks so quickly. I bought a whole bunch of cooking supplies and cupcake decorating tools, but I've yet to do anything this weekend I'll have to. That's a fun weekend though. Enjoy it while you can. Time goes by super quick. Mm, that terrifies me. I feel like I need to I need to come up with something to make me feel better about that because I often get struck with like a lot of dread about how quickly time is passing me. I'm gonna be 53 tomorrow. Can't remember what it was like to be 27. I keep a journal for stuff. Updated my birthday. It's okay not to post things online. I mean, I'm I'm good with that. It's very okay not to post things online. I need to be okay posting things. Uh, Mara, thanks for the. Uh, or hang on, Mara, thanks for the. Distracted. Uh, happy birthday. You will continue to get older, but it's much better than the alternative. I guess that is true. It does mean I've survived. Mm. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I feel very healthy. I'm having, I mean, aside from getting a cold, but like generally speaking, I feel like recently for the last like year or two, I've been a lot healthier than I used to be. Um, I'm getting more exercise. I'm on a more regular sleep schedule. I'm staying more hydrated. And weirdly enough, all of those things really do make you feel a lot better. <laughs> it's weird. So we're gonna depressurize this the rest of the way. And I'm gonna take out the cheesecake and set it down in a cooling rack, which I lost. Put it over here. Mm, that can live here. So I'm gonna grab a second mitt. These mitts are like silicone. They're like rubbery, it's weird. They work great as long as you're not holding onto the thing for too long, but I've never really met an oven mitt that you could just hang onto the thing forever in. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> the sprinkles got super bright. They got like really bright. I'll give you a, I'll give you a look um, with the camera. I'm not gonna move the cheesecake, but uh, so here's what we look like on top. Um, they're kind of brightly colored. The pink came out nicely. There's little uh, lumps of what look like rice. I'm gonna find out. It's probably just gas. <laughs> the color is a lot better than it shows up on camera. I haven't color corrected that camera at all, but it looks awful. Um, it looks much nicer in person. Funfetti cheesecake? Yeah! I'm kind of excited. It feels very birthday. I feel like the sprinkles make it a birthday cheesecake and not just a lemon cheesecake. All right, also the fact that it's pink. I always used to, whenever I was icing a cake, I would always dye the icing pink because I wanted, I didn't want, just want a cake, I wanted a pink cake. Very important. Um, uh oh, I don't really need the mitts for that part. I need a better grip is what I need. There we go, safely out. And there's my cheesecake. So it's gonna cool on the counter for a while. I'm eventually gonna transfer it to the fridge where it's gonna set overnight. And then I'm gonna slice into it tomorrow and I will tweet about it and post on my Instagram story. Also, if anybody remembers on Sunday to remind me, I'll get, it, I'll get a slice of it on Sunday morning and we'll have some birthday cheesecake. A Fruity Pollock painting in a cooker. <laughs> Getting super hun hungry now. Uh, you freak out over things less, the older you get. Having more fun now than I ever did in my 20s. That's something to look forward to for sure. Uh, very much like a birthday cake. I used to work at a pizza shop. My coworkers made me a pizza with candles in it. That's cute. Don't burn your hands, don't ruin the insurance premiums. If I send you my address, can you send me a slice? For legal reasons, I will not be passing out any edible matter, but I appreciate the interest. It's very flattering. I'm done for today. It's a short stream. I guess it's not that short. It's only about 20 minutes shorter than normal, but I am going to take the rest of the night off. I'm gonna clean up my kitchen, but take the rest of the night off and tomorrow. I will see you guys Sunday morning. Thank you very much for coming. If you haven't already, I put out a video earlier today talking about the just news of the week. That's up now. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.